Hi there and welcome to my weekly robot update. This is where I do a roundup of what's going on in the robot news around the world, so stay tuned. Hi guys, I'm Philip English from Robofield.com and welcome to the Robot Weekly Update number 11. Today we're looking at free roaming. I'm free! I'm free, I'm free! Yeah! Ah! 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 I'm not free. Well, I'm thinking. Ah! 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 And non stopping robots. Ooh, 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 yeah. ooh, 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 ooh. Atlas Unplugged. DARPA's unterminator robot cuts the power cable. Atlas, the 6 foot 2, 156 kilogram humanoid machine being used in DARPA's Robotics Challenge, that's DRC, has an extensive upgrade, is now free to roam on battery power alone. The original Atlas, designed by Boston Dynamics, now owned by Google, in 2013 was an all-metal beast permanently tethered to a wall socket. But the upgraded version will carry an onboard 3.7 kilowatt hour lithium iron battery pack. That's enough juice for a one hour of mixed mission work, such as walking or using tools. The new unit also has an hydraulic variable pressure pump build into its torso that increases Atlas's strength. It's also much quieter than the robot's old pump, which was so noisy that the teams had to wear ear protectors during operations. 75% of the robot's original parts have been replaced or removed, and part of the body shell has been replaced with plastics. Atlas carries three new perception computers with a wireless router for control, and has also been given more agile wrists and arms. DRC finals are on June 5th, and DARPA has announced new rules to make the competition tougher. Atlas units will have to drive a vehicle to a test site, clear and open a rubble-strewed doorway, and break down a concrete wall. Once inside the test building, Atlas must then climb a ladder, get across a walkway, close a circular manual valve, and turn on and operate a fire hose. Lego robot controlled by Artificial Worm Brain developed by Open Worm Project. Artificial intelligence researchers are developing a digital version of a worm brain that can be uploaded into a Lego robot and reproduce the creature's thoughts and actions. The Open Worm Project is dedicated to creating the world's first digital organism by mapping the mind or connectum of a worm. The aim is for the robot to mimic primitive worm behaviours like feeding, locomotion and mate finding. However, the independently controlled LEGO robot is currently limited to obstacle avoidance. Without any prior programming, the Connectum is able to control the robot while sensing allowing it to react to its environment. Ultimately, the Open Worm project could prove that it's possible to upload a human brain to a computer. Attempts are already underway to map the human Connectum and understand its complete structure and functional neural connections. However, the scale of the task is orders of the magnitude larger. The Open Worm project is still awaiting peer review, but an open source virtual model of the worm, completed with an elastic body, will be released online in June. Creed Apps, how to make a robot that cannot be stopped. It's been a year and a half since we watched Jean Baptiste Moret's Hexapod teach itself how to walk again after losing a leg. Damage resilience is certainly critical to being able to remain mobile while exploring the scary and dangerous world outside of the laboratory. But adaption could be taken even further. And Moret's new robot has explored exactly how far that is on six adaptable wheels. On flat ground, the Creedit robot can use its wheels. But as soon as it encounters some other surface like dirt, grass, rocks, rubbles, or mysterious grey goo, it can change its gait to whatever is most efficient. Fundamentally, a robot losing a leg and a robot trying to move across a foreign surface effectively is the same problem. The robot has to adapt to a new environment. To do this, the Creedup project is teaching robots to do what animals like humans do. Namely, we innovate, optimise, evolve and adapt. Or in other words, we try different things until we find what works. And then we keep trying variations of what works until we find what works best. 
The general philosophy here is to teach robots to be able to find their own solutions to complex problems. This is important for long-term reliable autonomy, because there's no way that we can possibly foresee all the different problems that a robot might run into. That's it guys, your weekly world robot news. I'm your host, Philip English. If you like this week's report and want to see more of the latest robot news, reviews and robot tutorials, then please hit the subscribe button to keep up to date. I put further information about the robots and the weekly robot updates in the links below, as well as extra web links for your review. If you have a robot product that you would like me to do a review for or do a tutorial for, then please ping me over a message in the comments section and I'll see what I can do. Thanks guys, and looking forward to seeing you next time.